Welcome back guys. We made it all the way to episode 51. This week, what do we got going on? Last week, you guys saw, started the plumbing here for the shower. So I have the water mixer and the shower head inlet thing in. Uh, so basically, I have to take the countertops back out and figure out exactly where I'm running the plumbing behind the drawers. Got that wallpaper last week, so I want to get that wallpaper here. And then we also have this section down here. Yeah, my brother's got all everything. The batteries are starting to get hooked up, all that, you know, I just got a whole, whole slew of things going on back here that I have no idea what I'm even looking at. That's that. And yeah, man, we're just gonna get started. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting this outlet cover thing fitted in place because I still don't have that fit in place. I'm gonna have to touch up the white paint because it got a little bit nicked up when I was sanding it, but. First coat is done on here, so I'm gonna let that dry up. It's already like pretty much dry after a couple of minutes because it's so hot out here, but I'm gonna go into the bus. I'm gonna sand out that wall so we can get that ready for the wallpaper. Uh, and then I'll probably get the second coat on here and then I'll get the wallpaper on and then I'll get the third coat on here and then we'll continue on with the rest of the insides. Go. Yeah. Measured it the wrong way. Look at this. I put it over here. It was perfect. Look at that. Perfect. I measured it the wrong way, so. Uh. Hopefully I have enough wallpaper. Why do I always mess these things up, man? I don't have enough wallpaper. Oh my, I'm gonna lose it. So it looks like we're not gonna get to this wallpaper today. So I just ordered more. It is what it is, right? So we're not gonna get this done today, unfortunately now. So I'm gonna move on to the second coat of paint on the little outlet cover for over there. I don't know if this thing was recording or not because it keeps overheating. It's really hot out, like I said earlier. So I got the second coat of white paint on here, and then I went in and I had some lunch. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and get the paint on that little bit over here. Strip up in there. Coat number one is completed over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get coat number three of white paint on that thing out there. And then I'll try and get coat two on here. And then that might be it for the day. Number two on here. All right, that was nice and quick. Second coat done. So now we wait. I am going to need to go get some trim at some point so I can do my 90 degree down here and I'll have trim over there, I'll have trim up there, I'll have trim over there, so I do need quite a bit of trim. Probably head to Lowe's at some point. I saw a comment uh, like maybe on two weeks ago video <laughs> that I gotta go to Lowe's is like the most iconic saying of the series. I agree, but that's that's the saying. That is the saying of the video. Lowe's sponsor me. You should sponsor me at this point. I mention you way too much. But right now, going in, getting delusional, it's hot. So it is about five o'clock now. Uh, it's a little bit cool off, but really not at all. So I'm gonna slap one more coat of paint on that green spot, and then I'm headed to the lake real quick for a little late afternoon, evening swim with one of my friends. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna just bring a camera along, but I'm not really gonna film too much of it. Life, you 
Oh boy, it is a new day. It is a new hot day. Whew. Oh boy. Fogging up quick there, man. From air conditioning to hot and humid. <laughs> the real feel out here is over 100 degrees. I think it's like 106 or something like that. But my, where did I put it? My wallpaper came in a day early once again. So I am gonna re-attempt to do that wall. This is kind of probably gonna be annoying with the wallpaper, but it is hot in there. So we have a fan now. <laughs> I'm gonna be leaving around the end of summer in, in August, the end of August, so it shouldn't be too, too, too bad for those few weeks leading up, but as of now, I don't have an air conditioner in here, besides for the one in the front when the, when the bus is running. So fans might be the investment. This feels pretty good, I can't lie. I wouldn't be too mad. If I was working on my computer and it was this hot, but I had this fan like this, I wouldn't be too mad about it. All right, so the camera overheated, but there we go. Check her out, looking good. So boom, boom. That looks awesome. So I'm gonna put a trim right up over here and then a 90 degree trim right down there. Um, but I'm gonna put a little piece of wood to block this as well. So there's gonna be like a finishing strip here, 90 degree molding, finishing strip across the top there. <sighs> yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Woo! All right, and we are back out and in action. It's Friday today, so yesterday it rained the entire day. I had a ton of indoor work I had to do, so I just did that all day long. And then the day before that, it was extremely hot out here, and then my brother, by the time I got home from Lowe's and whatnot, my brother was out here working on this stuff, so I didn't want to get in his way. He was kind of in my way, so I decided to do some other stuff, but yeah. We're back out. All right, so we have our pipe in our PEX pipe here. Uh, all right, let's see. <clears throat> all right, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put the plumbing back behind here, which means I have to remove this board here, which is this board. I was gonna remove that board regardless because when I put the backing for the FRP, I kinda actually don't need this. It can go right on top of the frame. So this board is pretty much pointless for right now. Same with that one over there. So both of those are gonna end up getting removed. So it's not such a bulky feel. It's not gonna close the space in too much. And I'm also gonna remove this windowsill down here and just use the FRP backer board. <laughs> There's a praying mantis on here, look at that. Can you guys see that? A little praying mantis buddy, I don't even know. How did, how did he get there? See you later bud. Go, 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 go. Enjoy your new life. Come on man, enjoy your new life. Go, 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 go. Yeah. See you later buddy. The tubing there doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna have to bore out a little bit, but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna bring the red pipe down over and through here and then straight into here. And this one down and through here and it'll connect on the corner there. In the meantime though, while I kind of think that through, I got this privacy film, this um, window frosting privacy film. So there you go, guys. Now we're gonna have privacy. I've gotten <laughs> quite a few comments about the window and whatnot. I 
had the window film like on and it looked really really good but on the instructions it said to leave like an inch on the side so i left a little bit of of leeway on the side to cut off and it's impossible to cut it off so i had to trash it because then i ended up slicing too much and it's just like it's it's impossible to cut i swear it's impossible to cut so i'm just going to cut it to the exact dimensions and put it on i have enough plenty i have tons of this window film so all right we got the first one in check it out it looks really good so you literally cannot see a thing see through here boom and then boom can't see anything check her out we've got some frost windows boom but you can't see in here at all. Uh, it's time to move on to plumbing. And I think my brother's gonna help me with it because I don't want to mess it all up. All right, so we have our hole. It takes up pretty much the entire board. So like I said, I'm gonna have to probably reinforce that board. This one up here, I'm gonna sandwich a board in between and reinforce into that other board I have back there, pretty much ready to go with the plumbing. So I just wanna talk about a couple things before I start running those pipes. A couple issues we're running into with other things for the bus. So this wasn't a problem before, so I don't know what happened. Now, when you turn the bus on with uh, the key, after you turn it off, the dash lights don't turn off, uh, the headlights don't turn off, no, none of the lights turn off. So that's a bit of a problem because obviously the battery will get completely depleted and drained. Um, and the marker lights and whatnot have to get figured out, which is why we can't close this in. But until that problem is solved, the marker lights can't get figured out. So hopefully it's not too big of a problem and my brother here can figure out the problem we're having down with the dash lights. Cause like I said, it wasn't a problem before. So we're really not sure why it's a problem, but that's why the bathroom wall can't really get put in or anything yet. Um, and so I've, that's why I've been working all these other little like side projects because they're gonna have to get done regardless So I might as well do them now and then the bathroom will probably come like pretty much last at this point. Yeah, that's number one All right, and number two is the hot water heater so originally I told you guys and I showed you guys that we we're gonna do propane and the one I got was supposed to be a ventless uh, propane hot water heater, vent free. And uh, the more and more that we watched videos on it and whatnot, it seems like you should still vent it because it burns wood if anything is near it, etc. It gets super hot. Don't want a fire hazard. I really do not want a fire hazard. That would be terrible. But we're going with this six gallon uh, electric hot water heater. And yes, I know electric. You're probably like, that's gonna deplete your battery bank real quick. The thing is, I'm not going to be using the shower all that often. This is going to be used for showers only when I absolutely need a hot shower. And we're going to have it on a switch so I can flip it off and on so we don't have to worry about it being a constant power waster. Straight. Nope. How do you sell a hot water heater without a power cord? Okay, so they didn't put a power cord in with... How do you sell, unless it's in here? No, same no. way they don't sell the piping for the relief valve. <laughs> so you spend money to get not a full product. It fits. <laughs> so, so we have a big hot water heater now, and it is what it is. And it's I think it's gonna do the job pretty well. So I'm happy with it. Let's get on to the plumbing. <laughs> that portion done pretty darn quick um, so I have no more elbows which means I'm gonna have to go to Lowe's to pick some more up I got my fittings so we're good to go I'm gonna finish this little bit up and probably run the pipe down to the sink and then that's probably where I'm gonna end up calling it a night there we have it we've successfully ran the piping out of the shower. Yes. All right, we have pipes. 
And just like that, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna bring the countertops back out real quick. Sheesh! <laughs> it's coming down! Wow! You guys who have been watching this for a long time, you guys saw me last year laying down in the rain, just standing out in the rain during the It feels so good in the summer. I'm trying to keep my camera like out of the rain and me in the rain. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, it is Saturday. I was going to put these countertops in permanently and get my sink in here for this week's video, but I just finished editing and it's like a pretty long video. So uh, yeah, that's gonna conclude this week's video but I've had a lot of other behind the scenes work that you guys don't see because it's not YouTube related, bus related, any of that. So most of that work though is finished up now, at least for the next couple of weeks. So this upcoming week is gonna be a huge week. I'm gonna be putting in a whole lot of time out here on the bus and, and getting it looking really like a home this upcoming week. It's gonna, it's gonna be a big transformation week. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We have the bus build and then huge adventures to come. So as you guys know from watching last week's video, I'll be at that event in Colorado, that big event in Colorado early September. But my goal is before that event even happens, I'm trying to beeline it to Wyoming and make some stops along the way. We're gonna go all over the place, guys. I'm really excited. I have a bunch of stuff planned, some hopeful plans and I'm just excited to bring you guys along. Drop a like on this video. It helps the videos get more discovered. And without further ado, I'll see you next week. Peace.